Hello everybody, it's Jenny here and I'm going to play a game called Home. I've heard it's supposed to be a horror game if I'm correct and also that it's best to do it in one whole sitting so I'm going to but it's going to be divided up in different videos. I've never played this before, I have absolutely no idea if it's any good. It was on sale on Steam so I got it and well here we are now. It's telling me to press space so let's do that. Apparently I need to turn off the lights while it's daylight outside so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get Joe to close the curtains for me. <laughs> I'm already wearing headphones so that's one step on the way and now it's a little bit darker in here. This is exciting. All I remember at that point was finding myself alone. Down arrow. Oh. Oh my head. Where was I? It was so dark. This is spooky already. <laughs> there was something by my feet. A flashlight. Oh, I can see now. Okay, so there seems to be some poo on the floor <laughs> and uh, what is that a picture frame a plot a pot a little bed here I'm going through the door that house where was I good question oh my what is that there was a body lying on the floor who was it um and the blood is orange. I kind of want to go back into that room because it seemed safer. What on earth is that? Oh, it was cat. <laughs> oh, it's kind of spooky already. I'm such a scary cat. Like, honestly. Okay, so either... Oh, something's dripping from the ceiling here. And we could either go downstairs or through the door. But I think we're going to check out this level first because we can. Oh, there's some green bricks, I think that is. Not sure. Oh, I can raise the light like this so that I can see higher up. There seems to be a hole there. And a computer. I kind of want to sit at the computer. Oh my goodness, what is that? Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. Guess he, guess he doesn't want to sit at the computer, but I don't care. The desk had a computer and some papers on it and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Okay, so this is the thing with the game, why I fell for it when I read about it was that you sort of decide what happens in the end by choosing what you did and did not do in different kinds of questions like this. So did I open the drawer? I think I did because I'm a very snoopy person. Receipts, pens and a blurry photo looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? Is it his family? Maybe? I don't know. Is it his house? Maybe he's got like What's, what's he called when you don't remember stuff anymore? I, amnesia? Is that what it's called? I think so. He's got bad memory. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How can he notice that just as he moved down the stairs and not when he walked normally? Such a weird eye. How did I hurt my leg? I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. Rachel? Who's Rachel? I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. Okay, so wait. There's someone called Rachel, which we can only assume is his girlfriend or something. But she looked afraid, so it was probably someone in the house that she was scared of. Or maybe she's been cheating on him and... The guy on the floor, the body that we found, was the guy that she's been cheating with. I don't know. Anyways, I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. OK, 
Okay. A clock on the wall. Everyone likes clocks. Oh, I can interact with this. The bookshelf was full of books on local history and hunting. Hunting? That's not very good. So there's blood everywhere that looks like poo. Uh, there's some hunting books. There's a body upstairs. This house looks a bit run down. There was a cat and what is that? A thin grey mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Yeah, I probably did because I like little mouseies. There we go. Okay, so there's a door on either side, plus there was a stairwell that we haven't been through that goes down. So let's start with this door. Seems like a big house. Oh, some tools over here. Let's grab one of those if we can. A collection of rusty tools. These look like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? Because this is probably murder tools. Oh, a picture frame. I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Secret room, hell yeah! It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Spooky! Oh, look, the picture's like crooked now. It looks like they're melting. Their faces are melting. Okay, now I need to find where that click was. Far away, so it's probably not even in this room. Um, I keep looking up to see if there's anything up. Okay, so we just came from upstairs. Um, we'll just have to go through this door over here. Okay. I hate that noise. Oh, what's this? A table. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. Okay, two people. We found one body. Where's the second? Is that the murderer, maybe? There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. Typical of a hunter, wouldn't you say? The smell was turning my stomach. Okay, so it doesn't smell good. Oh, another mouse? No, okay. <laughs> it looks like another mouse. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Um. Uh, well, there's no reason for me to keep it. Which is kind of a hint that maybe I should take it. I'm gonna take it. Um, <laughs> uh, I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. Oh, this is spooky. But where's the click from? Could he have been upstairs? Downstairs? I don't know. Seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. There were scribbles of all kinds of random scraps of paper and notes about some kind of water tower. Did he mean the one by the old train yard? Good question. Really good question. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut it here for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!